So today we're going to be taking a look at an integration between Project Online and ServiceNow. The integration is achieved through using a tool called Tivity's Project Connect. It's an integration platform that allows you to connect with lots of other different tools. Um, and these are all productized integrations, not custom integrations. Uh, the integration supports the sending data bi-directionally between the two different systems. And doing so, we can meet a lot of different needs and requirements. Today, what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna take a look at some of the more common use cases that customers we've talked to and worked with have generally asked for. Um, but just because I don't show it today doesn't mean we can't do it. So if you have any other requirements or wanna talk about it, we're happy to do so. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it then. Um, I'm logged into ServiceNow right now, and currently I'm taking a look at all of the different ideas within the system. ServiceNow has an ideation type module where you can come in and you can put in all these different ideas and put in some information around them. Um, so a particular use case is we can take these ideas and we can come in here and we can check them and say create project. And when we do that, it's gonna push that idea over into Project Online as a proposed project where we can then do some more portfolio analysis and do some more planning to make sure we have the budget and the resources and such to do these, as well as does it make sense? Are we gonna get uh, enough benefit out of this project for the cost and the resources that we're gonna be putting into it? Um, similar use case, we could do the same thing, say, with changes. So if I come over here and I'm going to take a look at all the different changes within ServiceNow, let's say um, one of these changes, in order to actually implement it, we need to create a project with a schedule and a budget and a resource plan and all those types of things that you can do over in Project Online. Same kind of use case, we can come over here and we can select that change and say create project and that's gonna push it over into Project Online so that we can start to really manage and execute um, and, and plan that project and, and get that going. All along, that information then can be sent back. So we can get, you know, here's the plan start and end date based off of the schedule that we put together, um, things of that nature and kind of flow that information back in. So um, finishing out those use cases, jumping over into Project Online, now you can see I have some requested projects that have came in. If I come in now and I can do some portfolio analysis on those. So let's say we have all these different projects coming in, ideas, changes, um, you know, just plain old project requests flowing in from Project Online. We bring all that demand together and now we can create a scenario like, okay, well, what if I have $4 million? Which projects are gonna give me the most bang for the buck? So I can see here, um, I should do these projects. I should not do those projects because that's gonna give me 66% of the value. I can force things in, I can force things out, but really I can start to do this whole process here and you can create other scenarios. Well, what if we get an extra million dollars? Now we have $5 million, which projects should we do? And we can take that back to leadership and say, okay, here's what we can do with $4 million, here's what we can do with $5 million to get the most value for our business. Um, you know, what do you wanna do? Which one do you wanna go with? Taking that a step further beyond just cost, then we can also take a look at resources. And based off of the amount of resources that would be needed to do these projects, do we have the resources to do them? And if, if not, then which project should we focus on to get the most value again for our resources? So we can see we should do these projects, we should not do those projects in the non-selected area. But I can start to do things like move these projects around and see if we can kind of, if we push some projects out, if then we'll have enough resources. What about if I hire resources? Resources, right all these different things that project online is good for but we initiated this process over in ServiceNow right we're creating these funnels from ServiceNow into project online so that we can pull all that demand together see it in one place and then do this type of analysis on it to figure out you know what makes the most sense for our business <clears throat> so um, another use case though is Let's say I'm interested in seeing um, resource load across all of my resources. And you know, what are people working on? And are people over allocated, under allocated? Do we have too many resources in certain areas? You know, questions like that. <clears throat> and so what I can do is, um, not only do I have project work going on, but in ServiceNow you also have service work going on, work around all your different services. Things like incidents and problems and service requests, changes, you know, whatever types of work that you're managing over in ServiceNow. And we can flow that all into Project Online and bring that together in one system so we can take a look at resource availability. So to show you that, I'm going to switch here to a different view which is called my service summary. 
So what we're doing is we're bringing in all those different services from ServiceNow, and we're bringing in some information around those particular services. Um, and not only are we bringing in the services, but we bring in all the work under this. So if I was to click into this and drill in, I would see all the different work there. Again, um, you know, there's a lot going on. There's service requests, there's incidents, there's problems, there's changes, there's all this different work going on around those services. And because I'm bringing that all in, now when I go in and I want to look at resource availability and such and utilization, I can come in and I can select a group of resources, like say my business analyst here, and I'm going to come and open up my capacity planning view. And what it's going to show me is what are these people working on? Are they over allocated or not in a very nice, um, easy to read heat map? So if they're red, they're over allocated. If they're blue, they're under allocated. We're not utilizing them pro pro uh, properly. And if they're green, then they're being utilized well, you know, a little bit over, maybe a little bit under of what their availability is, but we're kind of in the nice green area there. So what I'm seeing is Amy is working on these two buckets of work. This could be one, a project and the other one could be a service, right? And we can tie the different types of work all together so we can see across it. And if you want to get more in detail, I can click on resource assignments and not only then see which projects and or services that they're working on, how much time that's taking from them. But I can then come to a more detailed view here and see that also Amy is working on this project or this service or whatever it might be, and then here are all the work items below that. So I can see that they're working on these different tasks or incidents or service requests or whatever it might be, and roll that information together so that we can get a, a total view of all the work going on and what people are working on in both systems instead of having to try to look at them separately and or infer what's going on in another system. Bring it all together so you can get visibility into what's going on. So that's another um, fairly popular use case that, that can help solve the problem of how do we know what people are working on if we're over allocated or not, you know, what our resources um, have going on. Taking that one step further then, um, imagine I'm an IT manager and I want to see across my portfolio of projects and services and applications and you know whatever else we might be managing from an IT perspective. And I'm bringing this information in from ServiceNow and from Project Online and some of that information is already being combined together in Project Online. And I can start to look at things like, um, you know, right next to each other I have project management type information like cost of my portfolio, risk of my portfolio, risk versus reward in this bubble chart here, um, burn downs of work over time. But right next to that, I also have service management type information, like how are we being rated on our services? Well, we're doing really good resolving application issues. We have 4.5 out of five stars not doing so hot on resolving data storage issues. We have two out of five stars. But the idea is using Power BI, part of Office 365, to get these types of reports and dashboards out of Project Online and ServiceNow and such. We can bring this data all together in one place so you don't have to be logging into two different systems trying to get visibility in what's going on as well as we bring that data set together. Back to our resource management user story, right? We can see here a high level of what's going on, but if I click into that, I can start to get more details. What's our percent of availability? What's our work by type? And then I can start to even focus in on, say, certain roles. I just wanna look at my project managers and my developers. Focus in on those roles, see how they're doing, and then start to look at things like utilization across those resources, um, over time, availability of those resources. Within Power BI, you also have drilling capabilities. So right now, let's say I want to drill into this role of project manager. I can click on that, and now I'm looking at all my project managers and how available they are or not over time, you know, things of that nature. Committed versus planned versus actual is a nice report. So you can see, okay, we originally planned this. Then we went and built our schedule and we said we're about this. And then we put in our actual hours and we're about this. So you can kind of see how they all compare to each other, right? But the idea is this information isn't just coming out of Project Online. This information is also coming out of ServiceNow. We're rolling this all together so you can get a total view of all the work across your organization um, and get an idea of what's going on and get visibility into that so you can make better decisions about what to do. So hopefully you can understand how using the Project Connect integration platform from Tivity, you can connect these things together. And then we can also use Power BI to get visibility and really nice um, visuals, dashboards, and reports, which are also mobile enabled, by the way. You can get these on your, your phone and your tablet and such and bring it all together and get that visibility into what's going on.